Rich. And joining us now, senior editor and elections analyst with a Cook Political Report, David Wasserman, and former Florida Congressman Carlos Curbelo, who is also an MSNBC political analyst. So, Carlos, let me start with you. What's your reaction to this whole Robinson thing, that he's still staying in the race? Pulse, for about 15 years, Mitch McConnell has been lecturing Republicans on the importance of candidate quality and how you have to have people who are electable. Too often over the last decade and a half, Republican primaries have produced candidates that are not electable, that are very controversial, that make comments or engage in behaviors that are disqualifying. So in a in a state like North Carolina, which we could argue is a pink state for the most part, uh, Mr. Robinson is probably going to get routed uh, in that election. And for sure, that could have major consequences both up and especially down the ballot. And again, this is someone who is very closely attached to President Trump's MAGA brand of politics. So there could certainly be an impact up ballot. Dave, I mean, North Carolina was Biden's closest loss in 2020 against Trump with this fresh scandal. Do you think Democrats have reason to be hopeful that the state could be won this year? Jose, two months ago, North Carolina was a lost cause for Democrats, and now it's squarely in the battleground. And there are two reasons for that. Number one, Kamala Harris has energized black voters who are about 21 percent of the state's electorate. And number two, the Republican campaign for governor, obviously, at this point, the doctors have left the operating table. They're, Mark Robinson's beyond saving, even if he's still on the ballot. And Kamala Harris's campaign went up with an ad just this afternoon in North Carolina linking uh, Trump to Robinson via the statements that he's made praising him. So she's trying to make him own this. And uh, Robinson does fit in with the MAGA brand that Democrats are are trying to, uh, to, to make uh, voters reject in this election. And North Carolina was a 74,000 vote margin last time around. If I would estimate if, if Kamala Harris can raise the share of white college grads that vote for Democrats from 47 percent last time to 49 percent this time, that would be enough to put her over the top. Yeah, Dave, you know, Cook Political it, Report has this great new interactive map highlighting the margins and swing states. North Carolina specifically shows how close it is. Can you walk us through some of these uh, different counties, et cetera? Sure. So. North Carolina is a unique state because it's more small town and rural than, say, Georgia, where close to 60 percent of the vote is cast in metro Atlanta. If you combine Charlotte and the research triangle, it's only about 41 percent of the state's vote. And Democrats still have parts of the state where there's room to fall in the rural vote. But they're also experiencing growth in the outer suburbs. And if there's one county to watch this year, it's Cabarrus County, just north of Charlotte. And that's uh, Concord and, and Kannapolis. And that is a, a place where Democrats basically cut Trump's margin in half between 2016 and 2020 from 19 points to nine points. If she can get that closer to tide, that's the kind of part of the state where Democrats are, are going to need to make progress to get over the top. Carlos, how much of an impact could this scandal have on the presidential ticket? Well, Jose, I think all we need to do is rewind, look back a few years. 2018, why did Republicans lose the House? Because swing voters in swing districts all over the country rejected this aggressive type of MAGA politics, this type of politics that can offend people, candidates saying crude things, behaving uh, in unacceptable ways. 2020. That's why Donald Trump lost and why Republicans lost the Senate in a state like Georgia, which ended up tipping the balance of control to Democrats. And then 2022, why was there no red wave throughout the country? Again, because some of these candidates that were so outlandish out of the mainstream, that is what could really happen in North Carolina as a result of uh, this uh, uh, dynamic we're seeing here today.